you know, because nobody's perfect. So sometimes you will get messed up with stuff that you haven't done. That's just normal. You know, if you don't understand that, then again, certified crazy. But I just take a little bit of that brow duo and I stay towards like the middle and in the end. And I just brush it in because my brows are already kind of full. Sometimes what I will do is I'll go like in here and lift up just a little bit. But at this point, it's really no product on them. So I'm just kind of like giving them that woof girl look. See that? That's like that little woof girl look. Which is pretty when you have a full fat face like I have. And full of eyebrows so sometimes it's good to get a little woof look right there and i've seen people do do that with the woof look but they'll do that once they get to the point when, when where they're ready to set the brows and lay it down so this product right here is the name is all rubbed off i think i have another one it's um anastasia clear brow gel so I don't need anything with any more tint right now. And I just need to smooth out what I did. So I'll take that and I'll go in between them and cascade it down all the way down to that tip again. So this is going to set it. This will keep your hair from your hair on your head from disturbing those brows. The clear gel, that is what that's for. And then you can go ahead and do that little wolf girl look with the front of them if you want. So I, I kind of did it. I did that. And it um, looks like it's something white there. But that's okay. This this isn't the best job that I'm doing today because, again, I'm on camera and I don't I really don't understand. Oh, here's the other one. This is what I wanted to show you. So this is the one with the name on it. See, I told you I had two. One is rubbed off and one is still good. Both of them are still good. It's just one that's just rubbed off. <clears throat> so with those... Uh, the brows that I did with the concealer and all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brush and kind of, I'm going to take this brush. And this has like a slight angle. And this is the Sigma Precision Angle P88. So I want to get rid of like that lightness from... the concealer or foundation that we use, I want to erase that. Like, I don't want it to be looking super, super, super bright up there for no reason. We don't need that. I just need it to look a little bit clean. And to me, it kind of look okay from right here. Not all of that, but okay. It's passable for the movie theater today. So that's the most that I'm going to do right there with that. Now, you can stop right there with your look if you wanted to. Or you can begin to like highlight and do other stuff. And I'm going to just highlight a little bit. Not even really highlight. I just want to go like that underneath the dark circles. And I only do it right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some people drag it down their nose, cubic's bow, and on their chin. We're not doing that. Not today. So I'm going to take this beauty blender. My daughter had already wet and it's puffed up. And I'm just going to dab I'm a dad right under where those dark circles are. You can say they come from allergies. You can say it come from drinking too much. <clears throat> you can just say it from not say it's from not getting enough sleep. Whatever they are from, I do believe you should conceal them because um they it looks like something that's not supposed to be there. And generally, basically, what I did today is something that. What I normally do is I normally take a corrector, color corrector, and I go up underneath them. But like I said to y'all before, because I'm on camera, for some reason, I can't really remember to do what I'm supposed to do. So this is coming out like kind of messed up to me. Um, can you pass me that Laura Mercier? I have two Laura Mercier's. I have a light one, <clears throat> which is like the clear uh, colorless translucent. And then I have one that is uh, for deeper tones, which is more like a tan, kind of like a skin finish, if you could see that. That looks like a skin finish to me because I'm a brown girl. So I just tap that in a little bit, and I knock it on the side of the jar, and then I go back under where I took that 
lighter concealer and I'm going to do it all around my face because if you remember I said my skin is the type of skin that gets oily so I take this and this just mattifies everything for me and it keeps it like in place and it, it makes it look you know matte it's not it's not like a shiny high gloss glow do we look no because I'll get that way on my own just because my skin and that's just how my skin is <clears throat> Um, yeah, I haven't had clear mascara in a long time. And if it is, it's probably in that old kit that's in your closet. Because I don't think we never even used it all, but that's probably where it would be. But anyway, back to the video at hand. So, I just put that on. This is the Laura Mercier for Deep Toned Skin. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to. Um, because most people are used to that bright, highlighted look. Which is fine, too. I just like nice, mattifying skin tone looks. And I have worn the other one, too. And gotten a lot of flashback. Um, because I don't know it wasn't set right. I don't know. I just really don't even know. So, right now, here is the really, really, really hard part in hand. Is when I'm going to try to attempt to do a wing eyeliner. And I know one of them is going bad. And I don't know if it's this one. I don't think it's this one. This 16 minutes. Oh, my God. That's just too long. That's hella long. But I did see that. <clears throat> Can't even talk when it comes down to this part. At all. Mm, that look ugly. And I have a hooded eye, so. Now watch me slay this one better. This always happens. So that's where I wanted to be. Can you kind of see? And I pull it taut. I love wings, but I struggle with them. And sometimes, um, you just have to embrace the things that you struggle with. Like people sometimes, they'll shy away from something that they can't do that good. But it's makeup. And you can remove it. thing is with this you don't want to see like a lot of skin spaces you want to go over it I can't really see like there's a massive glare because my curtains are open but that's okay um I can't really see if this skin peeking through. It looked like it is, but I'm not sure. And I'm just going to stop right there. By the way, this is Kat Von D. Trooper and Black Tattoo Liner. I love it. Doesn't make it any easier for me. Like, I hear that there's easier ones, but that's the one that I use. It's pretty expensive. I like it, so I use it. So now I'm getting ready to do um, a little bit of mascara.
Mm. Normally, before I do this part, I generally tight line my waterline, the bottom line, and I didn't do it. And you know why I didn't do it? Because the camera is on. So I'm almost cop combobulated because the camera is on. I'm not doing anything in the order that I would normally do. Tana, getting a little cute. Get in here slowly. So, um, yeah. And my eyelashes are long. So it take a lot of spreading to um it take a lot of spreading to get them fluffy, feathery looking. But this wing looks really short and this one looks look, looks crazy. But I try, and who gives a damn? Approach me if you will. Step to me if you want about anything. Come on, I'm ready. I can take it. You see all this bigness? I'm big enough and I can handle it. So approach me if you want. Um, back to the face issues. <laughs> Where is, okay, all right, cool. This right here, uh, Mark Jacobs eyeliner but you know what I when I was using this before when I did my makeup for New Year's Eve I hated it mm. but guess what I have another one and I think this is the newer one so and this is pretty good it gives you like a nice black I'm going in very lightly, very lightly, because I know this is not the bomb um, look. I don't have enough time. I don't even know what time it is. My movie started at 3.30, and I'm 20 minutes away from where, or 25. I don't even know because it's a new theater. So, And I need to let my car heat up and take my puppy out. Okay. So, you can still see my dark circle. I know I can. My nose look hella big. Mm. I'm going to just stop. See, sometimes you do have to know when enough is enough. I won't dare give her any publicity on my channel. I'm sorry about that, but I won't. Oh, this is my little hair clip I had when I was washing my face. Ouch, 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 ouch. So, I have a massive... Big natural ponytail. My daughter said, you're going to look like a kid. But, no, I'm not. Y'all. So, this is it. This is all that I have. I could do a little blush, but no need. Those cheeks going to get red on their own. 